losses in the alcoholic beverage value chain. If the government pushes through with its intention to increase taxes in the industry in the coming financial year, the brewer says this could lead to over 1,000 job losses in the sector, even as it warns of far-reaching effects that will be occasioned by an increase in price of genuine spirit products. Jimmy Bogo has more. The 2024 finance bill continues to make headlines owing to its aggressive taxation measures as proposed. And although the bill has proposed some reprieve for beer lovers, spirits, which are consumed more, are said to pay dearly should the bill become low. In the bill, the government aims to increase taxes on select beers, those with an alcohol by volume of above 6.33%. In spirits, which account for most of the consumption at 69%, the consumer will have to pay close to or more than double the current price. Our products here will be uncompetitive, uh, which are manufactured locally, and it's across the entire industry. They will be more expensive, which means that it will be cheaper for an alcoholic player in the country to import as opposed to manufacture locally. Yeah. That has an impact on jobs. We're talking about over a thousand jobs across the entire industry. Further, the brewers are concerned that if implemented, the bill will see an increase in illicit brews owing to the increased cost. For instance, a 250 milliliter bottle of chrome will see the price increased by 70% from the current 300 shillings to close to 600, an issue that the brewers fear will increase consumption of illicit alcohol. The consumer who consumes this product is the low income earner. And they are the ones who are trying to look for something that is affordable, that is safe. And now when you put it out of reach, it means that they start consuming illicit. The policymakers have also been warned that an increase in taxation on alcoholic beverages amid economic distress will further lower their revenue collection from the current 18 billion shillings that comes from spirits alone, cutting that by at least 3 billion shillings to 15 billion shillings and below. The government collects around 167 billion from excess. Alcohol industry contributes about 30% of that, which is about 51 billion. So we expect that the quantum will be lower than the 51 billion they collected in the last year. Kennedy now says that the government should move away from irregular taxation and build a consistent and predictable tax policy that allows businesses to adapt. Jimmy Bogo, Citizen TV, Nairobi.